Christmas has come early at Amy's Outdoor Living. Yeah, Santa's little helper Tina Makua is joining us from the Winter Wonderland this hey morning. Hi, T. Yes, yes. Hi, Amy Hardware Outdoor Living. And there's so many trees, so many themes. Look at this. It's the bee tree. Look at, oh, look at, so that's where cute. You are. Oh, yeah. Of oh, course, that that's cute. where I am. And we got our friend Randy Aspinall. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Uh, here he is. Okay, so we got the bee tree. We do have the bee tree. We have we have about 50 different trees in the store all together that are decorated. All right, let's go on a tour, okay? We got themes for everything. We got um, cars, vehicles. We got uh, abominable snowman. Oh, careful, Davey. We got the train going. And then we have these beautiful little houses for the village. Yes, this is a, sort of a courier and ives type theme. Um, it's wooden, little wooden tree. They're very three dimensional. A lot of them light up on the inside, Ooh. and uh, so they're they're pretty nice. It's very amazing kind of work that's done, laser cut type. Uh, All right, work. let's go to the Bohemian trees now. Our tour will be quick. Please follow along the path. Please follow along. In case you need to wash your hands, here you go. All right, this is the bo Bohemian table. Yes, yeah, so it kind of fills in with all the other things that are going. It's very popular right now. I mean, we have your yurts, your llamas, your all sorts of interesting characters and things that uh, VW bus even. Yeah, now let's go to the Jimmy Buffett tree. Look at this. <laughs> you said some of the people go and plan this way back in January, right? Right. The, the designers, generally what they do is right after Christmas in January, that's when the first shows begin and they begin looking for what they're going to build a tree out of. Usually by the time they're done, those three or four days of initial shows, they already know what their next year's trees are going really? to be. Oh, down, wow. Down wow. to the shiny stuff on the ends. I mean, they pick everything out specifically. Here's the thing he says, okay, do they start just decorating wherever you want to decorate? What's the answer? No, they start at the top and they work their way down because quite often putting the thing on the top is the hardest part of decorating the tree. In fact, quite often it quite requires zip ties to get it done. And then from there, then they work their way down. It's really important that they, whether it's a live tree or an artificial tree, that they find that there's holes and places and when you get to those holes and places, that's where you put the big, the big items oh, that see. kind of fill in those gaps. Okay, let's really quickly show them the kids' tree. They have kids' themes. They have so many different themes here. Animals, whatever you want. This one here, look at it. How cute is that and happy? It's a, it's a very happy tree. All kinds of wonderful little things that inspire the children. And then over here, we have the, the space tree. Um, all the little uh, spacemen, the little dogs, the little... Uh, animals, uh, uh, spaceships, the, the spinning uh, solar little. On the wall, Davey, look at all the decorations on the wall too, right there. See, yeah. Code, you'd like that one. Okay, and they have a lot of different themes. Again, over at Amy Outdoor Living, if you want to check it out. And the prices range all over the place. I don't know, $11.99 all the way, $19.99. Just depends on which one you're looking at. Look at them, beautiful. Thanks, Randy. Thank you, Tina. Right, we should, Tina, we should send Jordan in there and just see if he passes out. <laughs> <laughs> just, seriously, just I was overload thinking about him for him. Too. Yeah. Just too much. All right, Tina, thank yes. you very much.